Welcome to the conversation. We're back and the gang is all here talking about things that men sometimes think about but don't always say. The gang's all here. I've got Greg Kirkland. Yes, sir. D. Marcus Smith. We back. Jeff Fauntleroy. Hey! All in the house. Thank you for joining us and we got a lot to talk about so let's get to it. But first we want to talk about the items on our table. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler <coughs> fan. <coughs> you know, oh my. You excuse <coughs> all of the foolery. Oh my. My God. But uh, we got a Ben Roethlisberger ball here, <laughs> greatest quarterback to ever play the game. And, of course, my Pittsburgh Steelers hat and an authentic, terrible towel. So <sighs> representing the great Steelers, six oh. Super Bowls. And why they Wait number seven this year. Yeah, great great shake. Oh, my. Well, uh, uh, I, I, in mine is self-explanatory. <laughs> mine is this microphone right here, and I started to make up a whole story about it. I started <laughs> to say that it came from Ella Fitzgerald and that it was recorded on back in the 1940s. <laughs> but the reality of it is it's all the way from House of Hope Atlanta. Yes, sir. It's been placed here for me, and I'm a singer. I've been singing since I was four years old, so it just makes sense for me to have that. All right. All right. DeMarcus, what about you? Well, I've got, man, a couple of things on this table, man. Uh, this year, my late great mother-in-law uh, gave it to me before she passed, mm. and uh, before she passed, she, she brought me into her office and she talked to me one-on-one uh, -on -one and just wanted to remind me that every single day I have the opportunity uh, to renew. I have wow. a, a new day, a new opportunity to be great and not to dwell on the old things, the past me, the mistakes, the failures, uh, even the successes from the past, but to really focus on the right now, focus on my opportunity to change the world and, and to leave my mark. Uh, and then, man, everybody that knows me knows my heartbeat is my family, my wife, my wow. kids. Uh, so I have a picture of my beautiful wife, Chastity, uh, and a book that my kids gave me. Uh, and it's my constant reminder every day uh, of, of my why, wow. my, my heartbeat, my passion. Sure. They, they give me permission to be great. They, they count on me. They, they, they um, man, it's just unconditional. So. My, my charge every day is no matter what happens at the end of the day, whether the day was dark, I know that their smiles, their laughter is going to bring light to me. Uh, but it's my reminder every day to not fail them. Uh, and even if I do fall, I know that it's OK because they're rooting for me. They're in my corner. So that's what I have. Love Love it. Man, that was so beautiful. I know. I feel mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like you want to cry, man. Thank you for making me look that yes, way. Yeah, I don't have anything that deep, man. But, family. You know, I, just I got, love my wife and family, too. I, I just got, you know, I wore the badge for 25 years, man. Yeah, so wow. I'm a proud member of the blue. Um, you know, and along with uh, wearing the blue, the badge, the blue, the proud, I also uh, wore the, 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 the man of the cloth. My mind. And so these two statues remind me of my time, yeah. past and present. And then, of course, uh, the um, highest budgeted football team in the NFL. My mind. Uh, we don't even need a name any longer. We're just the Washington football team. Go Cowboys. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is a reminder that. We will probably be on the bench early, so already on? this is this is <laughs> that's, what, that's what that means. They're gonna be on the sofa during the playoffs. All right, we got it. We got it. It's not that. Funny. Are we ready for the so conversation? Oh, it's hilarious. hilarious. So funny. I'm so sorry. It's Let's, really start Let's start the conversation. Let's start the conversation. Let's start the conversation. Better start it <laughs> between you and you, boy. Y'all <laughs> struggling. Whatever. This All right. I know. I know. All right. Let's change gears. Does the typical idea of romance, flowers, oh. cards, and candy? Still exist. Uh, oh, does it still exist? Now let me let me give you something before we go. Uh, on yourtango.com, said this is what women want. On what? Oh, who? Yourtango.com. <laughs> Y'all got a lot of so you messed your, up your already. Tango. You tango. messed up already. Your tango. Tango. Your tango. Okay, go tango. Who goes to that? Well, listen. <laughs> Email me, please. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Have you ever heard yeah. of tango? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Stop yourself. Women want surprises. <laughs> they want to yes. be shown off. Uh -huh. They want you to really listen. Mm -hmm. They want PDA, and they don't want you to hold. Whoa, 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 whoa! They want what? PDA. What's that? Public displays of affection. Man, uh, please. Uh, you've been at the game a while. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about it. I, 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 uh, Let I him believe. Start. Since, he, yeah. brought the, since yeah. he brought the picture, yeah. the since yeah. I brought the love, he's yeah. so romantic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel. You know, I feel yeah. real good today. You know what I'm saying? The doghouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel. I feel romance is on a different level today. Like one, it's it's shifted because what romance looks like to certain people has is trash but i believe the expectation of it varies and yeah 
I believe just as long as romance is genuine and it's 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 authentic, it's intentional, most importantly, it's vulnerable. Man, I feel it exists. It's just overshadowed today because you can buy a girl a 12 piece hot wing and she'll, my, she'll fall yeah, in love. My, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lemon pepper extra. Ex ex yes, sir. Yes, sir. But but that's now. romance to her. Right? Yeah, you know what I'm That's it, man. Come on, but now. for me in my house, <laughs> yeah. you know, that yeah. thing is a little different. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to do a little more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, you're right, man. I think that romance yeah. now, man, is. Uh, is getting to know a person's love language. Right. Yeah. You've got to be intentional on yeah, the person right. that you are pursuing so that you know exactly what the likes and dislikes mm -hmm. are. Yeah, right. uh, the typical stuff, man, I got in trouble with that early on as I was courting my wife. Um, man, I went and brought this beautiful mink coat, man, and uh, uh, something else. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> man, that coat, man, stayed in that closet, man, for a while. I was Her like, Hey, you, you ever going to wear this? She's like, uh, yeah, yes, it's, it's okay. I'm like, you know how much money? But, right. hey, man, we went to Home Depot, Depot one time. We yeah. were redoing the house. Yeah. And her and her sister got in there, man. And we, yeah. it was like a woman at Neiman Marcus. Wow. I said, oh. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I had yeah. it all wrong. I yes, was trying sir. to go the traditional route wow. instead of being intentional and wow. finding out what the love language what is. Matters. You understand? Right. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. So, you know, for me, the flowers and the candy, I don't work. Gotcha. No. But it's, you know, okay. Let me some have, other I stuff. I have a question. Yes. Was it a meat coat or was it a Tibar coat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what Tibar is, don't you? I, I don't Rabbit know. spelled backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so that rabbit was getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what about you? <laughs> well, well, first of all, uh, you see, you mentioned a mint coat and something else. So when we get off, I want to find out. What that is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I, I just have to agree with you. You know, one of the things that I have learned, you know, with 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 my wife is just paying attention to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, paying attention to the things that matter to her. So romance, so, there are moments where. The big things matter, yeah. you know, and the big romantic uh, things matter. But then, for the most part, we do life together every day. Yeah. So it's the everyday things that matter to yeah. her. Mm -hmm. the paying attention to when she wears a new dress. Paying attention mm -hmm. to when she changes her hair. Yeah. Paying attention to the little things yes, that she sir. needs. I always give this example of my dad. My father, uh, in growing up, I always saw him bring something home. Mm. It might have been a bag of potato chips. It mm, might have been, yeah. you, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, a pack of skills. Yeah. It might have been something, but it was something that my mom appreciated. Yeah. yeah. And it was the little things, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and he still to this day does that. Yeah. And so for me, I was able to pay attention to that and learn right. that it's the little things that yes, lead to the, yeah. to, to, to the big moment. Absolutely. Yeah. And I guess, yeah. you know, you think about the, the, the traditional yeah. view of that, you, the, the big bouquet of flowers, the, the big dot, the rings and all that. Yeah. And you're right. right. I think it. It's all it's all relative to what that person wants. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because Absolutely. you can you can give all the stuff. Yeah. Right. But if you don't have any time that you spend with them, that's not you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Slow bake. Slow you know, bake. Right. Man, Slow listen. Bake. Listen, right. listen. Slow I, bake. I, I saw a movie. We watched a movie recently with uh, Chris Chris Rock. It was called Spiral. It's the new yeah yeah saw. The new saw yeah. yeah. He made a statement in there where because he had lost his wife and uh, to to divorce, she left him, and he said, "You can give a woman a million Tuesdays." But you skip out on three Saturdays. Wow. And she gonna pay attention. To wow. And that 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 resonated wow. to me. That that said something to me. You know, wow. and I, I, I recognize that you have to do the things mm -hmm. that are most wow. important. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand that, but it sounds so <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? What he was saying was that she was always fussing at him because she missed out on he, he would miss out on special occasions because he was he's a detective. Yeah. So oh. he works holidays. He works weekends. Oh. He works. And so okay. he was upset that she would miss the trip to his mother-in-law's house or he would miss mm -hmm. a part of the holiday right. Thanksgiving because he okay. had to go out to be, you know. So but his thing was I was home during the week. I got you every week. Okay. So his thing was you can give a woman two a million Tuesdays. Yeah. But if you miss three Saturdays, I'm glad sure you broke that down, good. man. It makes and so sense. it just makes sense. And, and, but in essence, what I took from it was that it's about the things that matter yeah. absolutely. most. Yeah. And, it, and it's not always about what matters to you. Right. There you go. It's about what matters. Yeah. Yeah. And being able to learn that love absolutely. language of yeah. the other person, absolutely. being intentional. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah.
Now, you talked about love languages. Talk about that. Well, um, you know, my, uh, <laughs> people have love languages. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to get myself in trouble here. But, I mean, it is what it is. After years, I mean, we've been married 30 years, so we know each other's language without even saying anything. And, and, but that took time. Sure. It took intention sure. to try to know, okay, if I do this, this is the response I'm going to get. Um, uh, you know, again, I always say the then what's, you know, if I do this, this is what I'm going to wow. get. You know, my goal is always to have the remote at the end of the day. So, um, <laughs> in the big pillow. So it's a love language that you learn. It's the, uh, things that you don't even have to say right. that you do right. and knowing that this is going to please my mate. This is going right. to please each other. If I do this, if I come home right. and things are in disarray, it's going to be a problem. Right. Um, when she comes home, make sure the house is clean. Right. You know, just little things. Right. When you learn that person's love language, right. there's things that you don't have to say, but Be you just do. Because and it makes everything right. Because it's their love language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's what they're receptive yeah. to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's how they their respond. love yeah. language. Speaking to, speaking to them. Speaking, speaking directly to, specifically yeah. to I them. I can say so I love you all I want. But if that's but not I gotta love show you. Right. Absolutely. I got to show you that yeah, I love absolutely. you. And absolutely. I know my uncle used to always say, uh, and my cousins, what you did to get them. Yes, sir. You got to do that to keep You have to keep doing it. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. you know, yes, sir. So again, you, and sometimes people that you get out of the box trying to impress somebody yeah. mm -hmm. at the very beginning, and if you can't mm -hmm. keep that out, keep yes, that sir. lifestyle sure, up, sure. Yes, that's sir. when you find yourself in trouble. That's yeah. called the representative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why you try to ease into this thing now. <laughs> right. That's right. Take your time. Yeah, right. don't go to, hey, hey, right. hold on, slow down now. <laughs> Slow bait, yeah, slow bait. Because it doesn't, it doesn't stop. That. Slow you bait, the you no, you know, that, that thing is, a, it's a, it's romance should be a lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Be a lifestyle. yeah, you'll boil everything. Absolutely. Some things you put on 275 <laughs> at 9 in the morning. Hey, hey, hey. And wait until 4. Him. And Email him. Okay, I'm Email sorry. Is. I'm sorry. It's slow Best bait. Best romance movie. You've ever oh, seen. Oh, oh, oh. That's hard. Man. Best romance. That's hard. Best romance movie? Romance movie. It's a lot. Now. I, oh man! I'll be honest with you. So, my wife would say Love Jones. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually would say The Notebook. Oh, love it. Ah, no. watch it every time it come on. Love it. The Notebook uh, is yeah. that's my movie yeah. for romance. Yeah, I got that's it. what I like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what you? The models. He left. He, I saw the notebook. He, come on, man. Oh, he's a millennial, so it's probably so something with Disney. Different. Yeah, it was a little different when I saw it. Because <laughs> I don't look at these people like, <laughs> what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Best romance movie? Best one. I honestly can't think of one. Uh, I can't think of one. Right, we'll I, I would say I'm just going <laughs> to roll with Love Jones, okay. man. Yeah, Love yeah. I, you know, one. it's three that come to mind. Love Jones definitely... But um, there's a there's one called someone who someone to watch over me and the that. bodyguard and yes, I relate sir. to it from uh, my law enforcement days mm -hmm. and uh, that's the end of my story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm about to go with love and basketball. Oh, wow. 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 somebody was going to say that. I didn't say somebody. Okay. Best, best, was going to say that. Right. So you can't go Come wrong. On. You can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go with that. All right, that was a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. Conversations are now. Let's get in. That's debatable. Oh, okay. Ready to debate? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah, debate. Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Okay. <laughs> and this is going to be a little interesting topic. Yes, sir. Um, what are we telling our kids about sex and relationships? Oh, my Ooh. God. We know, we know in, uh, in the churches, they, you know, they talk about just abstinence is the only way. But so many shows now and in the music, mm -hmm. it's kind of making sex common. Oh, yeah. Yeah. not common. It makes it, it, makes it common. So what are, we, what are we teaching and what are we, what are we talking about with our kids as far as sex and relationships? Well, Ron, it's, it's uh, in, in all seriousness, it's an education. Um, again, I go back to the two things to talk about, the then what's and the return on investment. Hmm. Um, that was the, the role that I took with the kids. It was, listen, here's what happens. If you do this, if you're not married, these are the things that could take place. Mm -hmm. And then these are the ramifications f throughout your life that you have to deal That's with. That's good. That's good. Um, there is a health factor that you may have to deal with. Um, there's a life factor that you have to deal with because you're going to be tied to this person for the rest of your life, whether you want to or not, mm -hmm. because sure. of a moment of pleasure. Yeah. 
Yeah. So think about these things and, and educate them on what takes place if you do that. Sure. And I think the education of the what happens if you do <laughs> lets them think. Sure. I'm sure. not trying to scare them one way or the other. But if we're going to do this, this is life. It's sure. going to happen. Sure. sure. So let's sure. talk about what the re realities are uh, from the results of what you do. Sure. I sure. believe, like, coming up, I believe a fear of, like, my mom, she had a fear of, of talking to me about it because she didn't know what to talk mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> uh, and I believe that that, that kind of creeps into any parent's mind. It's just, it's not a fear of not wanting to talk, but trying to make sure it's the right time, mm -hmm. trying, to, mm -hmm. trying to make sure you don't expose them to something too soon. But... Uh, <laughs> One of the things, I, I can't say what a lot of parents are teaching, but I believe you ha we have to teach beyond just the, the known outcomes. Yeah. So we've got to teach beyond the pregnancy. We've got to teach beyond the, the possibilities of, of contracting something, but we have to teach about the depth of it as well. Right. Yeah. The emotional attachment, right. what, it, what it has on your mentality. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, when we see teen dating violence, you know, because that feeling was one thing, but you don't know how deep that they right. hit yeah. you right. yeah. and now people you know the student is right. acting crazy or the person's acting crazy etc right. Right. Uh, and then even with with the teaching aspect of it uh, like my son it, it's at a point where there's no right time mm. there's there's not a perfected mm. time to start mm. having a discussion you got to have it sure uh, and I know we were talking about that one time where we were just kicking it in the parking lot and, and I, I believe he asked me the question I'm like man even as a, a youth pastor I've created content now to to start introducing it mm. here <clears throat> just in case parents have uh, don't know hesitancy. how sure but even bringing them in getting their input having the curriculum to discuss with the students open conversation because if we don't you've got them learning from their peers music mm -hmm. and uh, the social media or piecing it together themselves right. yeah based right. off of conversations i know that's what i did yeah right. Right. And, and, and these little, right. listen right. these little girls don't look like the little girls i grew up with right. Right. <laughs> but but all in all you know it's it's just i believe it, it's something that has to happen just like a racial conversation mm -hmm. just like yeah. a love conversation sure. teaching beyond just the yeah. basic surface right yeah but really and then and then making a conscious effort to listen Ask them what they know about yeah. it first. Yeah. That way, as parents, as their That's influence, good. we're able to to tell truth. Sure. Right. Versus, like I said, the stuff they piece together. Locker room. You remember locker room days? You know, you get in there, you get asked a question, and you lie. You yeah. Because you don't want to yeah. look a certain way. Right. But yeah. even in the lie, you're sitting listening sure. to everybody, sure. either, whether it's a story or it's truth. Say something, and now you take that note, you write it down, and that's your expectation. Gotcha. So I believe, man, we, we've got to start. There's no perfected time. It's a must. But going beyond just the basic stuff, sure, man. Sure. And if you don't know, yeah, you've sure. got support. You've yeah. got people mm -hmm. that, man, I don't know how to have this conversation. There's been plenty of parents that have come to me and say, right. listen, I, I believe my son is out doing some stuff. Right. I don't know how to talk to him. Can you? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. yeah. And it's not going to be what I was taught. It's not going to be, you know, go out there and mm -hmm. do yeah. what you do. Sure, yeah. sure, so, sure. But it's really now even talking to our males, just really about understanding the emotional depth of it. Right. Because, yeah. you know, we don't talk about it. Well, do you said something that was really interesting, asking them their point of view also. Absolutely. Because I think as to parents, them we want to always on. teach, 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 and say, yeah. say, say, right. without finding out where they are so <clears throat> right. that you can start the conversation Absolutely. from that point. Absolutely. So you miss something Absolutely. when you don't ask them, well, yeah. tell me what you know. Right. Tell right. me what you think. Tell right. me where you are. In sure. And you know it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. So either way, yeah. Yeah. we're going to be either here way. for an hour. Right. Right. We're going to be here for five right. hours. Right. But we're going to have this When we get ready to talk. Yes. Now, I don't know how to talk to my daughter about it, Hold on. Hold on. Greg, let's talk to you. So I'm looking at that, that, that teenage daughter. Yeah. Well, listen. Well, first of all, let me tell you this. And uh, thank God that I don't have daughters. <laughs> yeah. It's your fault. I have fun. <laughs> but, uh, oh. but, uh, but no, listen. First of all, to your point about being asked in the locker room, for, they never asked me because I was always a church boy, so I was unassuming. They just assumed I wasn't doing nothing. Oh, so, But they, being unassuming was a blessing to me. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, 
but uh, you asked me about having daughters and how I have that conversation. Yeah, yeah, well, one of the ways that I have tried, one of the things I have tried to do is always be open. Yeah. Okay. And, by, and by always be open, what I mean is that I've never been the person that jump off the handle if they come and ask me anything. Right. Right. It didn't matter what they asked me, right. no matter how off the wall the question. And they have asked me some off the wall questions, even as little girls yeah. prior yeah. to becoming teenagers. You know, but what I've always made it a practice and point to do is never jump off the handle. That's right. Like, That's I can't right. lose my cool because I want them to feel OK with okay, coming cool. to me. That's okay? right. So that was the first thing. The second thing that I always tried to make a practice of doing is watching my verbiage. Okay. So by that, what I mean is that I always alluded to um, sex, even if sex wasn't the wasn't the actual topic of conversation, yeah, yeah. even in making allusion in alluding to it, I would always say, you know, between a husband and a wife. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, absolutely. I would always say, you know, when you get older and you get married. Right. Right. You know, okay. And, it, yeah. and without even beating so you them down the with example. the Bible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you it was example. just in my verbiage. Similar. It was right. just in the way so I So what the I image should it. be. Like exactly. That. Yeah, I like so that. So I tried to approach it from that aspect yeah. so that it's not like shoving it down their throat. Right. 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 Then, the, then the, to go a little further. I'm, I'm a person where I'm like this. I'm going to give you the Bible. Yeah. That's my job. Yeah. My job is to give you the Bible first. Yeah. I got to give you that first. And then from there, we'll unpack that. Yeah. And we will, we will look at the, there are some biblical signs and then there's some realities. Wow. Because you know? they could turn around and ask, I've always prepared myself of well, what happens when they flip the question and ask me, did I do what the Bible oh, said? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Then we got... Then, right. then we got then we got a whole different conversation. That's good, man. Then that's debatable. Yeah, yeah you that's understand good. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's so. Good. That's so when those mind. questions come, you got to be prepared for them. That's right. But then you also have to be prepared to give them Bible. Yeah. But then from the Bible, explain these are my desires for right. you that I have for you. That's my right. desire for it. you would be that you would wait until you have yeah. a husband and, and that you would wait. Well, it, but if you don't, right? Like you said, yeah. But if you don't, right. I want you to consider these things as well. Right. And be comfortable and that's, that's, with coming. Man, talk after that's good. And I, I, I have mine so is much. very similar to, yeah. to, to that with my, with my sons. I get, tell them what my, what, as parents, our desire for you yeah. is, to, is this. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But also, what I don't want to do is have yeah. them be ignorant. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Right. And, right. and so to talk about, because right. what I don't want yeah. them to do, I don't want them to be afraid of sex right. as if as this is right. a exactly. monster that's, that's right. going to just that's right. consume you and kill you. That's now, right. there are things you should know about. <laughs> right. Absolutely. And, you know, and, it's, and it's, it's, I've even talked to them about uh, how far you <laughs> go. And if a, if a girl says no to this, that's it's it. no to that. Yeah. And all of oh, the, yeah. You know, if, if she says no, no, it's if no to everything. Body no, and no, always no. Yeah. If a girl yeah. lets you hold her hand, then that's all you do. If a girl lets you do this, that's all you do. That's it. You don't do anything unless permission. Because, and also, I've told you know, the, the, you don't talk about right, right. what you've done with somebody yeah, yeah, to destroy her reputation. Absolutely. So it's more than just the act. There's absolutely. a responsibility that's that comes yeah. along with that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like that's you said, good that stuff, emotional man. part is yeah. good too, but there's a responsibility you have when you are experiencing that with, with somebody. Because wow, again, sure. the reality is our children won't always tell us when it has happened. Right. Right. Absolutely. Right. So I, at absolutely. least we've equipped them with yeah. what we desire for them to do and what's Healthy, you sure. mentioned that again. There, there's a health factor that is right, just yeah. very serious, right, right? Because it's not like you you have sex and then immediately afterwards you know something's wrong, right? right. It's right. down, down it's the road, yeah. 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 You, know, yeah. Yeah. you know, that you know, yeah. don't tell yeah. Yeah. So I think so we just education. owe it to them, yeah. 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 you know, and it's, it's, it's open dialogue. And, and, yeah. and I'll, I'll go even one step further, I'll be honest with you. Um, I make it a practice to say crazy stuff to my wife in front of my daughters. Yeah, man. I make it a practice to yeah. flirt and, and yeah, you know. Yeah, that's good. And, that's and say something that's off the wall yeah. that makes my daughters cringe. Yeah. I do it on purpose. They cringe, but I guarantee you that they it's good, notes. healthy. They, they take notes. They're, 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 it's healthy yeah. for them. Because they say, ew, listen, but they love that. Absolutely. Effect, because my thing absolutely. to my girls is this. Make sure that you get you a man who talk crazy to you. That appreciates what you have to offer. They see the intimacy within mom and dad. Yeah, exactly, and, and, they, and, they, and they enjoy that. Right. They enjoy that. You That's know. good. And well, I, you know. I tell you, I learned something, man. I'm, matter of fact, listen, I can't wait to have more kids. Yeah, I know yeah, what well, to you do. What? And I was actually honest with my son. <laughs> I told my sons that I told my sons that I didn't that I didn't wait. 
Right. We right. Don't, I, because I wanted them to understand that if you don't wait, it's not the end of the world. Right. right. Absolutely. If you don't wait. Absolutely. So, you know, so you sometimes that. But this is what moment. goes with that. Right. Yeah. You know, this is what goes this with not goes waiting. Now, they this might have already what, assumed that. Because yeah. they don't <laughs> 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 but it's the education. But it's the, yeah. it's the yeah. education. It's, yeah. it's necessary. You know, I never got the quote unquote sex talk. I did not. I know. never got I, that. I don't think our parents. No. No. I, I, got it. My, you know, I got it from my. I had two older cousins yeah. who gave it to me. Yeah. And what they to, they focused on is. This is how. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's that. Listen, that's what, I, what I got from my mom is, yeah. leave that little fast hussy alone. Yeah, you know, that's, <laughs> she ain't that's no good. That's well, that's listen, that's you know, I'm a movie buff, so my dad, uh, if y'all have ever seen <laughs> Boys in the Hood, yes, yeah, yeah. there was a little scene where Trey and his dad was out fishing, yeah. and his dad had a little conversation with him. Yeah, and made yeah. him a little, that was that's the us. talk that I got from my dad. <laughs> so if you want to know what my dad said to me, go watch Boys in the Hood and get to that scene where they around and they fishing. You'll see what my dad had. Yeah, the OGs in the neighborhood gave got. us the talk. Absolutely. They gave yeah. us the talk. And, and even in the talk with the OGs in the hood, it was, hey, man, just keep your hands off her and respect her. Wow. Oh, for sure. Man. Keep your hands That's off great. and respect yeah. her. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So how is television in the music? Is it helping? Oh, it's horrible. Or hurting? Nah. Oh, it's hurting. I believe it, it flows with time. Oh, it's hurting, Because man. the reality is, whether it's, I mean, every generation Always has that conversation about entertainment, music, true. And, and that's all true. That, right? and you can yeah. never fail. Yeah. You go back to Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Give him something that he can yeah. feel. Uh, uh, all these different things. Eyes. It was back in the day. Oh, you know, for sure. Yeah. I mean, me and Mrs. Jones cleaned up one. Sure. So every generation, had every generation has had it, but in music, where we are today, <laughs> absolutely looks different from the past. Solely based off of our kids are absolutely exposed to everything, everything. Yeah. all the time. That's true. And so, yeah. From an entertainment industry standpoint, I'm going to feed into what they already know. Mm -hmm. So wow. my son can watch, at this point, my kids can watch Avengers. They can watch PG ratings. And it's still going to be it's there. there. The yeah, concept, the idea yeah, yeah. parents are catching. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. when you're watching yeah. Disney Pixar movies, yeah. they're it's dropping there. things it's in there. them. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll double tape. Yeah. And they just giggling and chuckling, but yeah. we know it's getting in there. Right. Yeah. So I believe they just speak yeah. through the time. Right. And, yeah. it, and it's not messing up this, no. so they're right. not going to yeah. stop. Right. Yeah. I think the right. music is so raw. I oh, think, yeah. they, I think the, the difference, you look at the music back in the 70s and 80s, you listen to that music, they have, it talks it about these window. things. But it was, yeah, it was suggestive. Yeah. So now you turn on a song, I mean, it's got, I mean, they're, they're saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. They go right to it. I grew up on BET Uncut, so I was already. <laughs> you know. But you know what? I was, I was watching that cartoon called The Email Impossibles. Yeah. yeah. They had the family. Uh -huh. They were superheroes. Uh -huh. And. You know, some of the women, I'm like... Even, even the wedding, even wait the wedding, minute. they draw it. They draw it. In the animation. Yeah, in the animation. There's a cartoon. I'm like, wait a minute. He has a, he has a, he's a teenager. I can't think of the name of You might know he's a teenager. And he has, uh, like, an imaginary uh, dragon friend. And it's been going through puberty. And it's one of the... Really? I, 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 oh, I wish I could think of the name I have of not heard of it. Wow. But it's, it's one of the most... It's, I mean, it's raw. Yeah. No. Wow. It's raw. It's like the boondocks. It's, yeah, it's oh, raw wow. like that. It's <laughs> raw like that. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But, that, but even with that, though, even when we think about it, like, as raw as it is, like, even when me growing up on what I grew up on and what I was exposed to and seen, at the end of the day, they don't have a responsibility to our kids. Absolutely. Right. We do. Right. right. So even yeah, when their responsibility is catch. I agree with that. Yeah, I you agree catch with it, that. you see it, you I hear it. That. Yeah. As a parent, some of, you know, we bop into it, but we right. have to make that call to say, Eesh. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's that, That's back. why you got to yeah. be involved. Yeah. Absolutely. You that's cannot agree. use all of these different things as a Absolutely. babysitter. As babysitters. No. You right. got to be You got to know what they listen to. Yeah, man. know what they watch. Yeah. And look. Good topic. Again, we seem to always run out of time with these great <laughs> topics. Again, as always, guys, thank you all for another uh, great conversation. Yes, yeah. sir. And for you out there, again, we don't know all the answers. We're just giving you our opinion based on our experience. But again, we do know that regarding sex and your uh, kids, have some kind of conversation. Yeah, uh, you and your, your, your spouse, your significant other, or even see a professional about it. It's that important. It is. Okay? Again, we thank you so much for joining us again uh, for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. We promise more good information and a great conversation. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Take care.